Tonight in 7 News Flashback, a turning point in Queensland history. In 1986, Alan Bond secretly paid Premier Joe Bjorki Peterson $400,000. A bank teller blew the whistle. His name was Gordon Nuttall, now in jail for accepting his own secret payments as a government minister. He conquered Queensland and Canberra was next. But news broke that Alan Bond had given the Premier $400,000. Joe deposited the cheque at Westpac and Kingaroy. The bank teller was an ambitious Gordon Nuttall who leaked details of the transaction. A journalist doesn't normally give away uh, sources of information. But, but not all blabbed, uh, couldn't help himself. The revelation sparked an Australian Broadcasting Tribunal inquiry into whether Alan Bond was a fit and proper person to own Channel 9. Joe had been suing the station over a today to night story. Back then, the program was on Channel 9. Des Power was the executive producer. He was confident his team could defend the defamation case. But then Alan Bond bought the station and he testified his only option was to write Sir Joe a big cheque. Certainly the Premier made it under no doubt that if we were going to continue business successfully in Queensland, then we, he expected that matter to be resolved. The former Premier also denied that he had in fact been standing over Mr Bond, demanding key money to let him into Queensland. The Joe controversy boosted the stocks of Labor opposition leader Nev Warburton. And when Nev retired, Gordon Nuttall was handed his seat of Sandgate. It gave him the leverage. Now Westpac was furious the privacy of one of its top customers had been breached, so Gordon Nuttall was sacked. He sued for wrongful dismissal and won receiving compensation. The bank couldn't prove he was the source of the leak. But privately, Nuttall was proud of it. When he was in Parliament, when he was a minister, he quite openly... I'm going to say bragged about the fact that he set in play that train of events that led to the downfall of, uh, of Joe Bjorka Peterson. After the payment was revealed, there were calls for Joe to be charged. Mr Warburton says the tribunal's reference to commercial blackmail means Sir Joe must be charged under a section of the criminal code dealing with improper payments to people in public office. A person convicted of such a charge could face a maximum penalty of seven years in jail. The exact sentence Gordon Nuttall received for accepting a similar sum from big businessmen. Bond went to jail, Nuttall went to jail, and Joe Bielka Peterson very nearly went to jail. But, but for one jury member, he would have gone to jail. 